I'm here to talk to you about Go DSCRDD. It's a new distributed data store in Go. It is very similar to Orbit DB. If you heard of Orbit DB, it's in JavaScript. Um, Simplify it a lot, and you get this. I'm Hector, by the way. I work with Protocol Labs. I do the IPFS cluster things. In order to build a Merkle CRDD data store, a Merkle CRDD based key value store, we need all these things. We need CRDDs, we need Merkle DAX, we need an IPLD DAX service, we need PubSub, we need some magic, and then you get it. It's not too difficult. In fact, I'm going to explain it in five minutes. Um, CRDDs, uh, conflict free replicated data types. You can do counters, you can do registries, you can do sets. And you can compose these data types to do more difficult things. Eventually, you can, with a set and a registry kind of thing, you can get maps. In GoDS CRDD, we use Delta CRDDs because the semantics are very nice, and it allows you to get batching um, rather easily in the same way that you will have non-batching. Merkle DAX. Uh, it's like a blockchain. I mean, you all know you were through the core courses, you probably know what a Merkle DAX is, uh, except that you can have multiple heads and you can have multiple branches. In fact, you have a DAC. Each node in that Merkle DAC will carry a payload, which is a CRDD object. In fact, the Delta CRDD object. This is what they look like in SC representation. DAC service. Uh, this is basically what IPFS does, except you want it embeddable. So you want the lip 2 p host that you probably reuse for other things. You want the DHT, you want the block service, you want the change, bit swap, a reprovider, and whatnot. Put everything together in something that I called IPFS Lite that I can easily embed and has very little code. It's just putting blocks together that existed on the stack. And additionally, a couple of functions. You need pops up. Thanks, we have lip 2 p and Gossip Path that works for us, very nice. And a secret source. So if you put all those blocks together, you need the actual implementation of this Delta CRDD key value map, and you need proper DAC traversal when you're syncing all these Merkle DACs from, from different replicas. You want to traverse them efficiently. You want to traverse them multi-threaded. You don't want to get stuck if you're receiving updates, but you're not able to sync part of the trees. You need some conflict resolution when there are conflictive values committed at the same time. And you need some magic that I don't have time to explain in a five minute thing. And then you profit. You broadcast things through, through PubSub. You publish new CRDT objects via the, the DHT. Other replicas can find what they need to sync in this tree. And they run everything. And you have a distributed key value store that actually implements the Go data store interface. So the same as Badger, but distributed. You have an operation like put key and value. And this will generate a new route for the Merkle DAC broadcast. Everyone will sync. Voila. Thank you very much. Some links.